we have a guest speaker who's going to do just a little bit of that mind expanding and just give you a little taste of some of uh, the interesting ideas and energy that we're flowing around the Changemakers Festival. Um, so it's my great pleasure to introduce Mark Pesci, who's, been jo who's joining us tonight. He's a speaker at a Changemakers Festival event in Adelaide on Tuesday. Um, but I was able to encourage him on, on quite short notice, and thank you, Mark, for, for fixing in to come down and talk to us tonight. Mark really blew my mind open when he spoke for me at a conference in 2007 after the federal election there on the role of hyperconnectivity and how that was impacting change making. And I'm really looking forward to getting a taste of some of Mark's uh, newer thoughts here tonight. Thank you. Good evening, beautiful people. <laughs> no, I do mean it. So this is going to be a bit of audience participation. I need you to come on a little bit of a journey with me. So I want you to look at someone you're standing next to. And keep, keep this up. Don't, it's not, a, it's not gonna be a weird thing. You don't have to look in their eyes and get all sort of crazy about it. Settle down. Settle down. Now you might, you might know this person. You might, you might have never met them before. Keep looking at them. You might have never met them before. You might know this person. You might know this person quite well. You might not. Whether or not you know this person well, they're still mostly terra incognita. They're mostly undiscovered country for you. Now I want you to imagine, keep looking at that person for goodness sake. I want you to imagine as part of this, for a moment, that, that everything that they are, that everything that they've experienced, everything that they know, everything that they feel has been completely revealed to you. It would be a little overwhelming. There's no question about that. It would be a lot. And it would be as if it would be as if we could peer into one another's beings. And and in doing that, we could know what they feel and what they've experienced and what they know, and it would be magical and it would be terrible. There's, there's no question about it. But you do that and you would instantly have walked a mile in that other person's shoes, and no matter what they've done, no matter what kind of person they are, you'd immediately forgive them because you'd understand. And, and I don't want to get mystical about that because I don't want to say that this is something that we need to strive for. In fact, what I want to say is that's the world that we live in now. We are already so incredibly well connected. We have built webs of things, of devices, of technologies, of apps that allow us to share our experiences and our feelings and what we know. But we haven't taken those tools and used them to extend our ability to know one another. If I knew the mind of everyone in this room, how many nations would I have visited? How many languages could I speak? How much would I know of everything? How much would I feel? How much would I experience? That is the world we live in now. Or at least it will be if we can forge the relationships to use those tools to unlock what is standing right in front of us. Thank you.